up everybody, hope you're doing well. Before we start off with the video, I want to show you a piece that I did. Alright, let's see. Skinosh iPad case, right? As you probably know, I bought the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, right? The 2020 model and I needed a proper case. So I didn't find a cool one, so I made one myself, right? This is what I came up with. I made this over like a couple of weeks, right? Like three week period, I guess. So just a quick rundown before we get started with the video. As you can see, it's a beautiful, let me just, all right. It's a beautiful culata here, right? Und undyed natural color with a cobra buckle, right? So that's two cobra buckles with a plate. You can open up like this and then you can get the out iPad out like this. Like pretty, pretty secure. Who knows who's trying to steal your iPad. Lots of like good ideas on there as well. So yeah. So the idea basically was I drive my scooter a lot like to my studio and I don't wanna like carry like a big backpack or whatever. I just need an iPad case that I can like basically sling around my neck, right? So I made one myself. This is a look at the at the sides. So the idea basically, let me just So the idea basically for the sides right the idea for the sides was a stacked sole of a boot or a derby right so basically when you have like i don't know like a handcrafted pair of boots right this the heel is basically stacked parts of leather right like this this is only a couple but like depending on the height of, of the heel obviously but yeah different like layers of thick leather usually glued and then like hammered right and i don't know like brands like ccp they chose to expose each layer usually it's like cut pretty pretty well and then like sand it and like paint it over so you don't see that it's like different layers of, of leather but like more like artisanal brands like they chose to display each each layer which i thought was beautiful so that was the idea of the sole here basically or like the the sides rather so it's not completely finished yet right usually like i burnish the sides of of the leather right so in traditional like leather work like quick digression i guess uh, usually like the in like traditional like artisanal bags but like high-end bags for women like when you have like a leather bag these sides are painted with edge coat right like burnish and then painted with edge coat to basically seal the sides because the sides of the leather are like pretty receptive to water and rain and like kind of like damage basically the leather so you always have to have some kind of like coating on top of the edges right so but in avant-garde fashion i guess like people like they or brands they tend to like expose the raw edges right which i do for skinners as well but i still put a coat on it to protect it it's just clear so you don't see it it looks like the it's like the exposed edge of the leather but it's just it lasts longer when you basically coat it right so i haven't done that here yet because i still haven't figured out like what what i want to put on there but i will probably use like do you know when like a seam tape right in clothing it's basically a tape that is glued over the seam and it's usually like ironed and there's a seam tape in liquid form as well, right? Which is more, more used for like tents and like technical fabrics. But I'll probably use that on here just to seal it and it's clear. So you probably won't see it, but it obviously protects it. Yeah. So I just quickly wanted to show you this sucker. Beautiful culata here. All hand stitched, took me forever because it's so many layers of thick leather. <laughs> and then, yeah, the strap is pretty cool as well. So this is Dyneema, which holds an insane amount of kilograms. Just this, this snap hook here alone holds 250 kilograms, right? So it will definitely hold my iPad. 
And then, yeah, this part is hand stitched as well as the shoulder padding, whatever it's called. And this is what the back, back looks like. And this is the front part, as you can see with the lovely like plate and then two Cobra buckles. Highest quality you can find. This will never be for sale because it took me forever <laughs> to make it. And yeah, my fingers still hurt because it's obviously all hand stitch, right? It's not, I don't use any machines to stitch my stuff. So yeah, pretty happy with this. Anyway, that's it, enough. Today, we're here to talk about Sui Coke, right? The idea was, think about like Sui Coke if it's like still cool because they've been around forever. Not forever, but I don't know when they were found, like in 2006, I guess, right? So 14 years. And yeah, it's a cool brand from Japan. I've always loved their aesthetic and the idea, right, of like high, high, high quality slides or slippers or sandals. And the question for today's video is if they're still cool in 2020. And my answer is no, they're not. Which is awesome, which is why I bought two pair. Right? And let me explain before we look at the pairs and how I style it and whatnot. I've had my eye on Sui Coke sandals for a while now, especially like, not the sandals, but like the slippers, I guess. And I don't know, they've been just too hyped for me. And that's like, a, may, might be a different topic for a different video, but I don't know. I, I just don't like wearing stuff that everybody wears. And especially like streetwear kind of stuff, it's always, I like some of this stuff, you know what I mean? But I don't know, you go out and everybody wears it. <sighs> Depends on where you're located, obviously, but it's, I don't know, I've always been more attracted to the niche kind of stuff. I usually say I buy what I like. I don't care if many people wear it or not, but I don't know, in this case, it was different because I know like everybody or lots of people at least like wore them because obviously they're a cool alternative to like the Visvim Christos, right? Which is probably the perfect sandal or slider, whatever they, I don't know, let me know down in the comments what they're called. But the crystals are probably the perfect pair for me, but they're just too expensive. I mean, even like Suicokes are expensive for what they are, but still the crystals are like just on like three levels above, right? So anyway, I'm digressing as always. So my feeling is that the trend has kind of like died down a bit, right? Which is like good for me, I guess, because like this year I felt like Kind of makes sense for me to buy into the brand and maybe let's look at the first pair which is perfectly appropriate for summer so maybe let's talk about the biggest winner or the most insane fact it's like they use a vibram sole <laughs> can you imagine like using a vibram sole I'm sure if you can see the yellow vibram logo here using a vibram sole on a pair of slippers which is definitely overkill but I absolutely love it. And yeah, so this particular pair is, has kind of like a hairy texture to it, hairy material. And yeah, classic Sui Coke design has like this two Velcro straps, ultra padded as well, right? It has like a double layer basically of padding, super bulky, super thick sole as well. Suiko logo here, the bottom. Very minimal branding, which I personally like. Yeah, and this is the perfect pair to me. So this was the first pair I bought. I actually bought those like, I don't know, two weeks ago, I guess, or like 10 days. So all black, but then you have like different textures, right, with the hairy material here, and then the nylon straps. So this is the perfect pair for me right perfectly appropriate for summer and i will i actually bought a couple of socks to match them right because you know you don't only wear those like barefoot and i know like being from germany and you have like this ter german tourist myth it's not a myth like every german tourist like wears sandals and socks but that specifically right but anyways I want to wear those with socks as well because like my goal with those was actually not to have like sandals and like wear them for summer but to basically extend my 
bedroom or my living room to the outside, right? It's kind of an insane goal, I guess, but I wanted to feel like as comfortable outside as I am at home. So the idea was basically to get super high quality slides, wear them with socks and just a regular outfit and you feel like you're at home, like even when you go to a restaurant, I guess. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, to be honest, like I, I just got those, but yeah. Most of you probably have Sui Cokes or looked at them before, so let me know that in the comments if that's an illusion or if that kind of makes sense, I guess. So the second pair that I got are surprisingly also hairy <laughs> and they're kind of like in a green grayish kind of tone, I guess. They are definitely too hot for summer in Munich. Like I wore those yesterday and I was like sweating like crazy, but I guess they're more like more appropriate, not necessarily for winter because it's snowing and you can wear those when it snows, but when it's a bit colder and you have like thick wool socks, I guess, they're kind of cool. Yeah, so same story, Vibram sole, Vibram branding everywhere. And then, yeah, this part is gold, which I don't really like, to be honest. I guess a bit too flashy for me, but I think like from far away, they're still kind of cool. And the texture is just, I don't know super cool super smooth i guess so those are the two pairs that i bought right one which is more appropriate for like summer and then another pair which is more for like fall winter i guess or fall at least yeah i would style those later on in the video but one of the things that like, when i bought those i realized like how weak my sock game is i think like most of our sock games are probably weak i don't know because socks like they're never exposed right in my case so I usually have like sports socks, like 90% or 95% are Nike socks and the rest is like Salomon socks, right? So I buy my socks like for running and then I just wear them regularly as well. But I never have like cool socks and it kind of like sucks to have, I don't know, this shoe on and I have like a Nike logo and then it says like left sock, right sock and whatnot. So <laughs> you need kind of like proper socks. So what I did is I bought two pair of capital socks. Right, so this is the first one that I got, just the bandana heel sock. I don't know what it's called. It, to be honest, like color-wise, it's like stretching it a bit for me, right? I'm not like the biggest fan of bright reds and br bright blues as well, but this might look cool, right? We'll style them later on. And the second pair that I got is this one, same with the bandana heel. Kind of a cool sock, obviously more appropriate for winter. Right now it's like, I don't know, like 30, 35 degrees Celsius, which is just insane. You obviously can't wear those socks. So if I'm going outside now, I will wear those barefoot. But yeah, so the idea is basically, I will put together a couple of outfits. I don't know if it like, if this shoe really like makes a big difference in the whole outfit. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna film like the whole outfit or if it's just like gonna be the pants and then the way down because it's basically about the sock game right so it's socks or barefoot and then with those shoes yeah so i am pretty happy with my purchases let me know down in the comments you, you guys probably have more experience than i do with those shoes which one do you prefer let me know the black one or the gray one obviously different models different colors same vibram sole which i love is it overkill? It absolutely is overkill. But who doesn't love overkill? So enough talking. Let's style those suckers, look at the different outfits, and then come back to the video. Live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild cause they flashing they titties. It's Liddy. Watch your steps cause these blocks be shitty. We grew up on that bad boy in 96 with Diddy. Take a walk, come with me. Let me show you what really go down. Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli of crowns. Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown. City never sleeps, this the place that where hip hop was found. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. 
Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on So guys, hope you enjoyed the video Hope you liked the outfits Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite outfit Which is your favorite pair of like slippers, sandals I still don't know what to call them Do you prefer like Visvims? Do you like Sui Coke? Do you have them? Are they just a bit too like in your face? I don't know, let me know down in the comments Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. From JFK to LaGuardia, city that never sleeps insomnia. Home of Junior Mafia. Word. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch.